How's it going guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble, lubricate, and tune your Zippy diode ballast hung trainer. So when you take it out of the package, you'll have this pouch. You can just dump everything out. You'll have a blade, two handles, and then this bag with a bunch of hardware in it. So let's go ahead and dump this out. The do-it-yourself assembly kit will come with two pivot screws, two nylon lock nuts, this two millimeter hex key, eight bronze phosphorus washers, and if you select it with your order, a bite marker, and up to two handle caps, which were optional add-ons. So the first step to assembling your diode is we're gonna take the blade and the washers and then the handle you wanna start with. And we're gonna add lubricant to every sliding surface. Um, you don't strictly need to Add lubricant if you don't have any, but it's highly recommended. It will improve the performance of the ballast hung trainer. It's gonna let you get a tighter tune with a smoother handle swing. So I, I do recommend you add some type of lubricant. You can add nano oil, KPL, super lube, pretty much anything uh, will work. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of lube to the inside of the channel here. And before I assemble, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and take the pivot and I'm just gonna push it through to make sure that I can push it through later. And I'll do that with both handles. So there's a side to push through. Don't push through the hex side. You're just gonna push through the circular side. And that's doing that once kind of clears everything out of the way. It's gonna make it easier to assemble later. So we've added lubricant here. We're gonna add it to the other side. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the purple my bite handle. The handles are interchangeable, so you can choose whichever handle you want to be the bite or the safe. The purple's gonna be my bite handle. So I'm gonna add lubricant now around the pivots. And then I'm gonna take Two of the washers, I'm gonna add lubricant to one of them and put the other one on top. So there's lubricant in between these washers, there's lubricant on the blade, and there's lubricant on this channel. So on this side, there's lubricant between every sliding surface. So I'm gonna hold the washers in place here and I'm just gonna add lubricant to the other side of the blade. I'm gonna add one of the washers add lubricant on top of that washer. Stack a second washer on top. And now I've got two washers on either side of my pivot and I'm ready to stick it in the handle, just like so. So you're gonna need to line everything up. You can take your uh, hex key or something else sharp that you have on hand, a uh, paper clip will work fine. And you're just gonna line everything up. This, you can see this is the washer sticking out a lot. So we'll just push that in and just kind of line everything up. And now we're ready to throw the pivot screw through. And this, we're just gonna be gentle. It's gonna take some wiggling. Just kind of make sure everything's lined up. I just wiggled it through. I've got a little bit more to go. And now the pivot's all the way through. I'm gonna add the hex nut here. Oops. And just start screwing it in. You're gonna feel resistance. The pivots, we can actually just push that in. The hex nut will fit in this hex nut shaped cavity on the handle. And I've just pushed the screw out, which is fine, as long as I'm careful. What you don't wanna do is 
have the pivot screw out like this and then a washer fall down. And when you try and tighten it, you're just tightening against the washer. You could damage your washers like that. So you're just gonna feel a light resistance. And if you feel anything out of line, you just wiggle it again and reseat everything. Um, so this is actually tightened. It's a little stiff. That's not a problem for now. We're gonna tune later. And I'm gonna repeat the exact same procedure on the other handle. So this is gonna be my safe handle. So I've already done this, but to show you again, before you try and assemble, just push your pivot screw in. You're gonna feel resistance. It's, it's uh, tight to prevent it from unscrewing itself in tandem with the lock nut. This mechanism will make your tune last longer without the need for thread locker. You can, of course, still add thread locker or Teflon tape if you desire. Uh, it's optional. So let's go ahead and add lubricant to both sides of the channel here. About. And then we'll do this side of the blade. I'm gonna add lubricant to one of these washers, stack a second one on top, and then take both of those and stick it on the side of the blade that I just lubricated at the pivot. I'm just gonna hold those in place. Now I'm going to add lubricant to the other side of the pivot on the blade. Add a washer, add a dash of lubricant. Add my second washer. So now I've got two washers on either side of the blade at the pivots. And I'm just gonna slide the handle on. You can see things got out of alignment. That's not really a problem. We're gonna line everything up in just a moment. So you can see there's two sides of the handle. This is the hex side and then the circular side. So we'll take our hex key and just kind of line everything up on the circular side. I can visually inspect it, see it's lined up. And I'm just gonna gently push my pivot screw in. And we're just gonna kind of wiggle it until everything lines up nicely. You can inspect these washers will actually be flush with the handles if it's all assembled correctly. You can see this one's a little out of place, so I'm just gonna use my fingernail or you can use the hex key to just kind of push it in. And now with my finger, I just gently pushed the pivot screw all the way in. So all my washers are in alignment. And to reiterate, if your pivot screw is caught on a washer and you can't push it in, just keep wiggling it. Do not try and force it in. Do not try and tighten it while it's abut abutted against the washer. Uh, you could damage your washers like that and it could impact the handle swing of the ballast hung trainer. So now I'm just gonna put the hex key on and, sorry, hex nut, and start tightening. Make sure the hex nut aligns with the hole so I can push it in. And I'm just gonna tighten slowly and gently so I don't catch a washer. And just like that, we've completed the initial assembly. I keep a paper towel on hand so I don't get lubricant everywhere. You might have some lubricant on your fingers. You can just go ahead and wipe that off. This doesn't need to be super messy. So now we're going to tune it. You can see the handle swing is pretty stiff on both of these. So we're gonna tune it just like we would tune any other washing ballast on. And I'm gonna lift my camera up a little bit so you can get a sense for the handle swing. So we'll start with the bite handle. You can see very sweat, stiff, and we'll just incrementally, just a little bit back off. And I like to push this hex nut firmly into the table to make sure that's seated. And that's still stiff, so we're gonna back it off just a little bit more. I, I usually go in about an eighth of a turn at a time. And then I push the hex nut in and repeat the test, still stiff. We'll repeat this process until you're happy with the handle swing. That's pretty good. That might fit someone's preference. For me, I like it a little bit looser, so I'm gonna just back it off a tiny bit more. Make sure the hex nut's seated properly and retest, and that feels good to me. 
and we'll repeat this process for the other handle. Very stiff, we'll just back it off a teeny amount, press the hex nut in, retest, back off the pivot screw, press, retest. Gonna do this very slowly, incrementally, until the handle swings where you like it. And that's pretty good for me. Good, nice smooth handle swing. And the play is pretty good, fairly tolerable. It's, uh, it's on washers, so the play is gonna be nothing crazy. The double stack washers do help remove some play, but that's about in line with most washer ballast songs. And at this point, you're ready to flip. If you did uh, purchase the optional add-on of the bite handle marker, you could throw that on right now. Should the, the ridges on the inside of this bite marker should line up with the jimping, so it should just snap nicely into place um, where the bite marker is flush with the edge of the channel there. Um, and now you've got your bite marker. If Instead, you purchase the handle caps. Um, they, they'll look like this. I actually shipped them with the tungsten weights pre-installed, and I'll show you what the installation looks like because you may want to remove the weights from these. This is a way to add adjustable weight to your diode. I'm just pushing the balls in with my hex key here. I'll do the same for the other one. And let's say we, this will be our safe handle, bite handle, boom. They just slide right on, and then you can just kind of yank them off. If you want to adjust the balance, you're gonna need something uh, a little narrow, uh, something rigid and metal. You could use the, this cleaning pick that I have, or, or a paper clip. You could use your two millimeter hex key, although it's it's gonna make the bottom of this look not pretty, so I prefer to use a uh, paper clip. And what you'll do is you'll just put the handle cap face down and pop out each weight. There's a hole under each weight. I'm gonna switch to the pick to show you that you can use other tools as well. And now there's three tungsten weights there and this is empty and that can just pop right back on. You can use zero weights, one weight, two weight, three weights, whatever balance and weight configuration you prefer. So that's it. Uh, we just showed you how to uh, assemble, lubricate, and tune your zippy diode. Enjoy, thanks guys.